Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from a Western Kentucky field where a Case International 1680 Axial Flow Combine is harvesting soybeans with a 30-foot wide Case International 1020 Flex Header. In this video, we're going to talk about this machine's production history, specifications, and climb up in the cab so you can see the operator's perspective of running this big combine from the 1980s. But first, let's head out to the field so you can see and hear this axle flow combine harvesting soybeans. The 1680 Axo Flow was the largest combine available from Case International from 1986 through 1992. It was part of the new 1600 series of combines that replaced the 1400 series of Axo Flow machines first introduced by International Harvester back in 1977. In November of 1984, Tenneco, the parent company of J.I. Case, acquired International Harvester's agricultural equipment line, which included the Axle Flow Combine. In 1986, it was time for a new upgrade to the line, and that's where the 1600 series came into production. The 1600 series was manufactured at Case International's East Moline, Illinois Combine Factory. The big 1680 originally featured a DT-1466 Navistar engine rated at 225 horsepower. In 1989, the combine was upgraded to a CDC 6TA830 engine rated at 235 horsepower. This combine is equipped with a three-speed hydrostatic drive and a 122-gallon diesel fuel tank. A big change for the 1680 Axle Flow Combine in 1986 was the availability of a 30-foot wide Case International 1020 flexible cutter bar. This header was equipped with plastic tines with retracting fingers that were perfect for harvesting soybeans. Previously on the 190 horsepower 280 bushel 1480 Axle Flow, Headers were only available up to 24 feet with a flexible cutter bar. The original price tag on a brand new 30-foot Case International 1020 flexible cutter bar was $19,593. There were three variations of the 1680 Axle Flow Combine available from Case International. A small grains combine, a corn and soybean combine, and a rice combine. Each machine weighed a little bit different and was priced differently because of the different components that were installed in it to harvest the different types of crops. The small grain combine weighed in at 21,175 pounds and was priced at $116,813. The corn and soybean 1680 weighed in at 21,880 pounds and was priced at $118,858 and the rice special weighed in at $22,525 and was priced at $124,898. 
The rice combine cost a little bit more and weighed more because it had to have heavier duty components to work in the abrasive rice crop that was being harvested. The 210 bushel 1680 axle flow combine could be ordered with a 14 foot or a 17 foot unloading auger capable of moving grain out at 1.9 bushels per second. Now we'll head out to the field so you can see this big combine unload 210 bushels of soybeans. Here's a view of the Case International 1680s cab. You can see the steering wheel as well as all the controls that the operator uses when the machine is harvesting. Now let's take a minute to see and hear what it's like to run this combine. Soybeans being harvested in this video are organic and that means there were not any chemical fertilizers, herbicides, or pesticides used to raise the crop. They were planted into a standing cover crop of rye and vetch, a Case IH Puma 180 tractor equipped with a crop roller and a Great Plains no-till drill seeded the soybeans into the field back in May. Following right behind the grain drill, which is no-tilling the soybeans directly into the ground under the cover crop, is an international truck equipped with a litter spreader. It's applying a product called Antler Dirt, which is an organic fertilizer that will add nutrients to the ground as the soybeans are growing over the summer.
I hope you've enjoyed spending time out in the field hearing and seeing this Case International 1680 Axial Flow Combine harvesting soybeans 30 feet at a time, as well as learning about its specifications, production history, and original price tag. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. Make sure to click on the notifications bell as well so you'll know when the next Big Tractor Power video is released. New videos are coming out almost every day from the channel. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you.